What are two heroes that were inspired by all of their heroes? Well, it was these two that was inspired by their heroes and then became heroes, such as Deku, aka Izuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia, and Poe, the legendary awesomeness dragon warrior from Kung Fu Panda. I'm Jane Elma Sonic, and it's my job to analyze their stats, weapons, and abilities to find out who will determine their legendary mission. If you haven't seen a preview about Deku, go check out Deku vs. Ruby to know all about Deku. So this video is mainly going to be focusing on Poe. Let's get straight into it. Raised in a noodle shop and never seeking glory or fame, he climbed the mountaintop and earned the Dragon Warrior name. Yeah, I like it. I just want to rhyme. Yes. Master Shifu saw the warrior blossom and mastered the skills of potatious and awesome. He lives and he trains and he fights with the Furious Five. He took the matter something, something, something to summon them live. Yeah. Kung Fu Panda! Legends of awesomeness. Alright, but in all serious, yes, yes, he was raised in a noodle shop. He was raised in a noodle shop by a duck called Mr. Ping, who actually looked like a duck instead of a panda. Obviously, it wasn't his original dad, so he adopted Po to cash his as his own son, Zhao Po, his little panda. And after a few years after looking inside of Kung Fu, thanks to Tigress, who actually defeated the boar that was inside one of the prequels, he found out that Kung Fu Panda wanted to be his life. He wanted to learn all about Kung Fu and decided to become a Kung Fu master when he grows up. And um, after that, he studied all the uh, masters who mastered Kung Fu, and he also studied some tricks of his sleeve. But then after, but after that, his dad, Mr. Ping, wanted him to run, wanted him to build a great legacy for his noodle shop. But he didn't want that. But after, but in one day, when the furious, when the one of the furious fires was destined to be the dragon warrior, Poe was excited. But then after a few attempts to get inside, when he was trapped outside, he finally got in, but with a bit of a rocket test. And then after getting launched up like a hundred feet in the air and fell down and got back with no scratches, he was chosen as the dragon warrior on accident. Or as Ugwe said, there are no accidents. And so that, he became the Dragon Warrior. But, as always, he still had much to learn. And after that, he was like, you know, failing at his attempts. But, a, a, but after one day, when Tai Lung was finally escaped from prison, Bo's training started to begin, and he got better. And after that, he defeated Tai Lung, which was a happy, happy incident. And after that, all the way through his journey, he learned some pretty cool kung fu moves. He can fire out some green Hadoukens. There's also the Wushi Finger Hold, which when he grabs his opponent's pinky or index finger, he can like skadoosh his enemies to the spirit realm. Which is basically like heaven, but instead with in China. Well, you get what I'm saying. There's also, he can also rapidly kick his opponents through the air. He can also create a fireball, which behaves like a black hole and sucks up everything. And he, and he also can, like, I don't know, erase people's memories and stuff like that. This panda has an insane amount of arsenal. Not only that, but he's defeated Tai Lung, whose own chi was able to cover the Valley of Peace. He's defeated Lord Shen, whose cannonballs can destroy entire ships and cities. He can scale the tigers, who can destroy boulders and stuff like that. And he can run so fast that he can catch hands on fire. <laughs> Which is pretty insanely weird if you ask me. But in Kung Fu Panda 3, when he fought Kai, he can actually travel through the spirit realm and actually travel back with absolute ease. And in the and in the series Positive Destiny, he's mastered Chi, which can actually act like telekinesis, which can actually be used with telekinesis, and can actually, you know, you know, actually give his opponents so much Chi that they literally explode into dust. Kinda actually weird for a family-friendly, you know, character. And plus, he's fought Jindel, who can actually tear apart through the spirit realm. And if he ever loses his chi, if he ever loses his chi, then he could just turn into a dragon to regain all of his chi. This panda is insanely OP. But even though he is tough, he does have some weaknesses. Well, his main weakness is that he is practically naive during in battle, and plus can get easily distracted when he sees something very interesting aside from fighting. But no matter what, He'll still remain the Kung Fu Panda we know. Alright, catch your votes in, people, because it's time to see who will determine their 
Kung Fu Fighting, Punching, Kicking, Legendary Mission. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And wow, the fans were actually right on who would win. And boy oh boy was Deku in for a blast. Oh man, I should have saved that for the end. But anyways, special thanks to Kai Lung for the thumbnail, for the animation, for this fight. He did a absolutely fantastic job. I will link his channel down in the description below. Please, he deserves all the content for this video. Head on over to that guy's channel and subscribe. Now let's discuss why Poe wins. And yes, it okay. Now that you guys um, admit that this fight was pretty much a stomp, but it but you gotta admit this battle idea was pretty cool. But in actuality, oh man, Deku doesn't really stand a chance against this panda. While Deku has defeated All Might, who can actually change the weather, it still pales in comparison after, you know, Poe has defeated like you know powerful beings like Jindal, who can actually destroy dimensions, and. Poe has actually been able to, you know, travel to the spirit realm and uh, go back to the real world with absolute ease. He's also defeated Kai, who is, the ma who is also a master of Chi. He can actually, you know, absorb Chi, and Kai and Poe is able to defeat him with no problem whatsoever. Well, a little bit of a problem, actually. But still, Poe's Chi training actually gave him much more power than Deku's um, All Might, like, One for All powers. Yes, One for All does actually possess great power, but so does Chi. In fact, Chi is actually much more, more stronger. It can actually give him greater power. It can increase his strength and speed. He can travel around the speed of he can travel around the speed of light, and it gives him the power to possess multiversal levels of power. And with, on the top of that, he's actually more massively faster than light. He's actually possessed immeasurable and infinite speed. Poe in Pause of Destiny was able to, you know, keep up with Jindel, who again can destroy the entire, and can destroy almost entire dimensions. So yeah, this panda has possessed a lot of great powers. If Pause of Destiny and Kung Fu Panda 3 did not happen, trust me, this battle would be seriously close. But since Pause of Destiny and Kung Fu Panda 3 had to happen, this battle was pretty much a stomp. I gotta admit. While Deku does actually hold one category, and that's intelligence. He is fairly more smarter, but that's just one category. That's that's just it. 
So Deku does actually held an intelligence advantage, pose greater strength, speed, durability, and wider arsenal, and greater power gave him the absolute edge over Deku. Oh boy. Poe literally is now, like, you know, on a whole nother level. Is like, it's not even like, you know, it's not even like a meme like Ultra Instinct Shaggy. It's just facts. And it seems that after Kung Fu Panda 3, he's gone from... Can he defeat Street Fighter's Ryu to absolutely curb stomping Dragon Ball's Wiss? No kidding. Literally, no kidding. Wait, hold up. Deku loses again? Well, yeah, but. Wait, what was even the point then in this puzzle? Okay, Jeff, I'm trying so hard to find an opponent for. I'm trying so hard for an opponent for Deku to have a fair battle with. So just stop before I'll deck you. Okay, okay, fine. Just go. Yeah, just go, Jeff. <sighs> I'm really trying, guys. I'm really trying. Post it down in the comments below if you really have a good opponent for Deku to have a fair match to, to you know, fight. But, anyways, the winner is Poe.